Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching the official trailer for Stalker 2. Uh, Stalker's a game that I've always been really interested in, but actually never played, so I might end up doing a playthrough of it at some point, if I ever get my act together when it comes to Let's Plays. Um, yeah, the reason I've been interested in it is because it's a very... It's a very interesting concept to me. Not to mention, the the gameplay seems pretty appealing. Uh, from what I understand, it is sort of like a, a sort of open worldish game, you know, as open world as games used to be at that time period, uh, where you can kind of go anywhere and how do I describe it? It's like it's like a more realistic Fallout, I think. It's like post apocalyptic, but like realistic at the same time. There's an inventory system, and you gotta like keep track of bullets and stuff like that. And I think bullets have weights. There is very little info, but the info that I did that I do have, I think, sounds pretty interesting. Uh, so I've always wanted to get into it, and I will at some point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the trailer for the second game is out, so I thought I'd take a look at that and see just you know what how similar it is to my uh <laughs> to my impressions of the little i know of the first game so uh with that said let's get started it's on xbox huh And already these graphics are amazing. But I don't know, I don't know if it's graphics or just a pre-rendered thing. Because it's really hard to tell these days sometimes. It just says official trailer, it doesn't say gameplay or in-engine. So it might just be showing off the... Oh no, no, that kind of looks like gameplay. That was like an engine thing. I feel that lightning would have more of an impact on lighting if it was pre-rendered. That's really cool there in the background. Oh, they did the fallout pose thing. Well, a lot of things do that, but you know, with the, something's walking a certain direction, they turn around, and look at the. I think Crisis did that as well. All right, well, that sure gave off a lot of atmosphere. Not gonna have too much to say on this one though, compared to the Halo one I reacted to couple minutes ago because uh i haven't played the first one but if it's anywhere near as good as people say the first one is then it's probably going to be a fantastic game so there's another thing to look forward to as always even even now so <laughs> hmm hey Really don't know. Sometimes it seems like it's actual gameplay stuff. Like there's shots where there's possibly NPCs. Or it could just be an animation. But then there's things like the electricity. Somewhere around here. Oh, and this too. It seems like the textures in the back, even though it's it's blurred, it seems to me like those are not as detailed as they would be. Maybe. It's hard to tell because of 
you know, being a YouTube video and also the frame blending going on here. So I feel in a pre-rendered trailer, these sort of electrical effects would have their own light source as well. But while they're shown in the reflections in the water, they don't have any lighting. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to tell these days. Especially if, like, this electricity has some sort of gameplay significance that would explain why it doesn't give off any light. And that could also be in a pre-rendered trailer. So, I don't know. Uh, graphically, this looks really good. But I can't tell if it's graphics. So I can't really comment on that too much. Um... I do wonder if they're going to keep stuff like inventory management and stuff like that, which I'm very confident is part of the first one. Uh, <laughs> if if I'm wrong about that, then I really have nothing to say about this. But, you know, unlike the things that Bethesda has been doing with their games, I hope this doesn't take a similar approach where they just oversimplify things and remove things. They say... <laughs> I believe that Bethesda's goals have been streamlining, but the end result is more simplification than streamlining. I hope this isn't going this direction because from what I've heard of the first one, it is pretty involved and complex, and that's what makes it fun. So, yeah, that's all I have to say on this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.